Just testing this audio here, Stephen, to make sure we're cooking because we had a wee bit of issues. Like uh, a happy little tree. Happy little tree, hi. Review from MBE, we'd just like to thank you once again for joining us here on our YouTube channel and of course our Twitch stream. I'm one of your co hosts, Stephen John McLaughlin, our other co host, John C. Walsh, and we are Jonathan. doing uh, Joanne. Uh, th- this is our movie review. Uh, John and I watched this over a week ago. I did. I've been on a short break. <laughs> John's been on a, a break because I've been on a break. I've not been bending his ear to do anything else. And we're here. And this was a phenomenally easy film to edit. Yeah, I was going to ask you that, John, yeah, in terms of, I noticed um, Easy. You, you did it consecutively, obviously, Every leading time. up to today. First yeah. time, uploading, passing copyright, yeah. no issues whatsoever, a breeze. So, so thank you, Sherwick, thank you, Atley, and uh, thank you to the production company, T-Series, T-Series. for making yeah. my life very fucking Easy. Yeah. Appreciate it. I, I liked the cuts, John, as well. I liked the way that you edited the, yeah, the it intro really and the closing. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good thing to take on board. A lot of people did say to us that they, we should check out other channels to see how it's how they, they do it. And we've took elements of different channels to, to yeah. sort of streamline a lot of things. And, and we are streamlining the actual yeah. edit down as well. Like yeah. And two hours, 45, down to about 40 odd minutes. I was here to half 12 last Friday. We go through it Saturday morning to to get the the film done, so yeah. we, were, we were done with it. But I felt it was an easy watch. It was. Uh, yeah. I know we'll get into it, John. Um, this is our second SRK film. Uh, we obviously did Patan last year, and this is from last year as well. Too obviously, big films came out from SRK last year. This and obviously Patan, and um, I know we'll get into it. Um, both similar genres, I would say. Um, but different. Uh, different in terms of dynamics. Um, the thematics as well being explored. Yeah. This is very much, <laughs> funnily enough, we were talking about Talapathy VJ yeah. potentially yeah. appearing in this movie. Yeah. Somehow we'd read that he was starring alongside SRK in an Atlee movie. We seemed to put two and two together and come up with ten yeah. and assume it was Joanne. So we yeah. just, even as we were watching the movie, we're expecting Talapathy to pop out for a cameo, much like... Um, in Patan with yeah. and I'm blanking on his name Salman Khan Tiger yeah, yeah the train scene yeah didn't happen obviously when Vic- Vikram what's his name I'm going to bring it up just it has been a week Vikram Rattori when he comes in proper Vikram Rattori comes yeah. onto the f- scene the OG the OG <laughs> and starts swinging things about and fucking whooping people's asses all over the shot you know what I see what I did there asses that was deliberate we thought it was telepathy <laughs> yeah so yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a telepathy VJ movie. Yeah. Because it's I, I exploring it is, yeah. societal worlds yeah. and yeah. putting a spotlight on issues that are afflicting the little man, woman and child. Some if you might like, say that there. Joseph VJ is inspired by SRK, to oh, be fair. Yeah, He's been around yeah. a lot longer, but yeah. um, not by much though. Um, oh, yeah, but been about the same time, yeah. Um, yeah, John, I, I know that we, we did look it up that there is obviously talks, uh, with, I think, is it, is it Atley? Um, yeah. it's, it's, it's putting them together for the next project. So. I mean, I want to see that. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Joseph's yeah. now doing politics, so I know, I know. Um, perhaps maybe it's going to be a maybe already a Schwarzenegger type thing. Thing, you know, <laughs> a, a sort of closing off of his acting career for yeah. a while. Uh, and what a way to do it! But um, I'm sure we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. But 
John, I'm going to pass it through to you now to, yes. to take us through this review experience. We don't really have a format as such as it's anymore. It's conversational, yeah. It's better that way. And I yeah. think as well, John, it's been a week. And I said to you, uh, you know, I, I might struggle with a lot of things that happened in the movie, but I think once we start talking, it starts to come back to you, doesn't I it? I remember it all. Yeah, you've been editing it. You've been editing it, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but Stephen, we always start these reviews with a sort of look on the promotional, yeah. where we were coming into this movie. <clears throat> but Tan felt like a more, I don't know, strapped in to your seat kind of experience, holding on for dear life. Yeah. High action. This one, the way they promoted it for me with him, with the ball cap, dancing yeah. along to that song in the train sort of carriage. It seemed to me it was more comedic heavy. That was the vibe they were going down. I don't think, looking at the movie as a whole now, that is a fair reflection of what we yeah. actually get. There's comedic elements in this movie for sure. Lots of funny moments with VG Sefipafi, SRK, yeah. lots of other characters. There is splatterings of humour in there. But it's quite a serious film in the message it's trying to convey. And there's some really dramatical and serious messages and monologues from SRK in this yeah. movie. There's moments where he settles down and he's got a story to tell. And it's something that's been presented to the populace over in India. And I think he does a fantastic job at conveying that. Yeah. But for me, getting into this movie, I wasn't sure what to expect, Stephen. I don't know about you, but Patan, I was... Looking forward to it. We kind of caught the hysteria of SRK coming back. We hadn't seen one of his movies prior to that. Yeah. I think it was a four-year hiatus. We kind of bought into the hysteria, watched Patan. Didn't get a seat in the theatres, obviously, because we made a decision to like we all watch do, the yeah. content on yeah. the channel. Yeah. But it was slightly different to Joanne. Joanne, I wasn't quite sure. I knew it was going to have funny moments just based off the actual trailer. But I wasn't quite sure what I was getting into. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised watching the movie. There is some issues in there, which I'll get into, I'm sure, yeah. over the course of this discussion, if you'd like. But yeah. in the main, it was a pleasant I, my, I think watch. one of my concerns probably was that it was going to be too similar to, yeah. to Patan in terms of, not, not storyline, um, but just the, the genre as a whole. I just thought, is it going to be another action Packed Jack's adventure, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, just guns are blazing uh, and, and lots of fight sequences. So we did get a lot of that, but there was there was more of a story in this one. There was yeah. more layers and there was more structure as well in terms of the the two versions of of. Uh, I'm not saying two versions; it's two different characters, obviously, but the same actor playing two different characters. We've seen it before, John. We've seen it um, in Western films. We've seen it in Indian cinema as well, and I think. Um, I, I didn't really know too much about that. I, you know, we thought that it was going to be the same person with different personalities. That yeah. was the kind of way we were getting it. It was going to yeah. be more than just two. It was in going to be maybe a bit yeah. four. But you know, as you watch the, as you watch the film, you know, you see the sort of range as well in SRK. It's not like Patan, you know, where yeah. he's playing the one character. Like he's playing two characters here, but also he's Three. playing. In a sense, because it's two iterations of yeah, Vikram yeah, Ratori. Yeah. It's, it's Young like the Bruce old. Wayne Batman yeah. thing, isn't it? And, you know, and they're uh, distinctly different characters. Yeah. Vikram Ratori, younger, with the Pika Padikone, the mother character. Mm. He's more alive and connected to the world. Vikram of older, he's amnesia. He's forgotten who he is, what his purpose is, what's going on. He's kind of walking around almost like a husk, but he's still very much capable yeah. of delivering some pain to people when required. So really impressive the way that you actually yeah. framed those multiple characters. We've seen this before, Stephen. We had someone comment that they really, it's something that's utilised a lot in Indian cinema. The one actor playing a father and son, they like it. We've seen it with Talapathy Vijay. Numerous times he's played as much as three, four iterations of a character. Yeah. Twins, a father, different versions perhaps of a father. Bahu Bali. Bahu Bali, yeah. we've seen it yeah. as well, yeah, with obviously <clears throat> Prabhas playing his father and also the son character. So we're used to that. It's not something that's took us out the movie all that much. It doesn't, no, you know, and it's not done in a comedic way either. No. Like, oh, look at me, I'm a different, I'm the same guy, but I'm a different character. It's not like that. It's done uh, with good taste. Yeah. And it's done, I thought the entrance was fantastic. Uh, to have Talapathy VJ come in like that would have been something else, but it, would have been incredible. Um, it was still a great it's entrance. You know, and it kind of made things make more sense as well at that moment because we were like, ah, right. And you, it's, this is 30, 30 years, years yeah. later on because I we, commented. we were a bit confused yeah. by that. I don't know it's if it was fucking good. in the <laughs> translation. Yeah. Oily, Yuli. Um, but I think, um, 
I need to get his eye on that. <laughs> I think the train scene was really good and it, it kind of indicated where it was going with the storyline. There was going to be a lot of double bluffs and a lot of twists and turns. The guy, of, uh, was it one? I think it was a lady actually, wasn't it? It got shot in the back, but she didn't really. Because yeah. I was a bit concerned with the character, SRK's character. I was like, all oh, right, this is what they're doing with him. He's, he's quite, quite dark, you know? Because he was preaching about farmers, rightly so, committing suicide because of money owed to the state and then pursuing it vigorously and trying to take assets from them and pushing them into suicide to try and give their family security. He was talking about all of these issues and then he's just shot someone in the back callously. Yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, this doesn't really make sense. Yeah. You're preaching this message and then you're just taking someone's life like that. But then also we do we discover later on, it's all an elaborate sort of ruse, if you'd like, hoax yeah. and it's part of a greater... <clears throat> plan if you like to Great hoodwink good. the yeah. authorities into transferring money over so he can all, and you nailed it Stephen you said it's almost like Robin Hood take from those who have and give to those who have none yeah. readjust the sort of balance it's an age old like. story isn't it Yeah, it it's, all, it's real, always works and yeah. I think people do support that they do root for those kind of characters in a way because especially if you're the underdog and you're, you're sort of beaten down in society I think that was the message in here as well and I think Obviously, working class people in the West can relate to that to yeah, an extent. Yeah. And I think um, that's when you root for him. But I was concerned. I was concerned for the character early on. I was like, I'm not really sure I like this at all. You know, but I, I'm concerned I was, about my dog's ass. <laughs> it was the same wow. in KGF Chapter 2 as well. John, I thought, um, I'm, I'm blanking on the... Rocky. Yeah, I was, was yeah. going to say Yash, but that's obviously the actor. Yash, um, yeah. I think, you know, I was concerned about his character as well, okay, but right, you just got to give it... And it's one of these things that Westerners have got to do. They've got to have patience. They've got to see it out because it's a long film and you get, you do get the payoff every time. And yeah. they certainly did get, get the payoff in this film. Another thing concerned me in the first sort of scene. Woo. Yeah, I know. It's incredible. Just Woof. levels. In the words of Archie McPherson. Wafting over. And every time it wafts over and hits your nostrils, it's just another level of flatulence that is... Fucking knocking you for six, man. Never buy a Labrador unless you are truly committed to <laughs> having your nose assaulted on the daily by smells that are just... It shouldn't be coming out of a living being. <laughs> it's sheer, unadulterated fucking death. It's just a good job of smell death. vision, isn't it, a thing? Yeah. Because, because then we would could, lose subscribers. Yeah, you could then... And, but then you can balance it with the sort of savage and the cologne that you're wearing and whatnot and say well what, yeah, have some of that that <laughs> smells a bit better doesn't it I digress Stephen one thing that concerned me with this movie initially was the sheer number of characters being introduced the hacker yeah. the blah 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 whatever the different titles they had yeah. for the girls if you'd like but there was only six of them and in the end it felt like the right number as we got to the end of the movie we were kind of connected they didn't really divulge too much on the other people's stories. I think I it was two. They were going down that road yeah. at one point. And I thought, if we, really that, get a, if we really get time for this, yeah, you know, know, because this is this is a lot of um, exposition. Yeah, but it, I thought they did it right. I thought yeah. it was just highlighting. It, it kind of highlighted John that you show a couple of their backgrounds and what they went through. Kind of highlights and it kind of covers what the rest of them all, all of them went have through. Got issues and that's why yeah. they're here. We've seen that in Patal Lock. The three sort of accused ended up becoming players and we went back and revealed their backstory yeah. using flashbacks so we've seen that done and utilised it's a tried and sort of tested technique in yeah. filmmaking and it works to be fair because you immediately it changes things you think these are potentially villains or sort of semi anti-hero or anti-heroines if you'd like but then when you see what they went through you quickly realise that yeah this is what they're doing there's a greater purpose to this yeah. they're not villainous it's actually the state and this sort of shadowy arms dealer character who are the real villains in this but I thought they get that balance right Stephen was concerned initially though I think I said that in the first part I'm never remembering all of these characters man it's not going to happen mm. and to be fair I still don't really remember yeah. any of the female characters I know them by face I don't really know them by name and I don't think that's necessary is it um, what I'm, even now I'm not actually sure I remember the SRK younger version is it a sad is that his name? Something like that, isn't it? Azad, yeah. Azad, yeah. yeah. Obviously, Vikram, Rotari. I can't even remember the girl's name. There you yeah. go. Uh, the it, actual... It's, it's, yeah. She was um, Narmada. 
Steam, this is not the kind of film where you get bogged down too much with names. Vikram no, no. Ratari and Asad or Azad, they're the main <coughs> ones that you need to focus on. And obviously the actual villain by VJ Sefipathy, he's quite important to Lee. Um, but in the main, outside of that, it's more a visual experience. Yeah. And they're there and they're, their personalities on a visual level. You're not really... I don't feel like this is a, a film which necessitates you deep diving into individual characters and yeah. really becoming one with them, much like 12 Fail. That was what really made that yeah. a special movie. You became completely on the same page with the sort of the characters, the main characters. You knew all of their names. You were there with them, living it. And that was a real part of what made that movie so great was the audience bonding early yeah. doors I with mean, it's these characters. It's a different type of film. It's apples and yeah. oranges, isn't it? It's not necessary um, to remember it the names. Because it's, it's, this is more of a sort of uh, a, th- a thriller, you know, yeah. and it's it's more of a, you know, a frenetic paced story where you, you pick up the names and you, you you understand it. There was obviously, there was issues, John, um, with some of the sort of jumping back and forth. The yeah. VJ Sefu Pafi character at one point had yeah. quite whitey hair. I think yeah. they actually said Santa wasn't <laughs> yeah. it. Santa. And then and then it goes back and he's got the darker hair again. And I'm like, is this is this two different people? Steve, I, did, I prefer you know? your description of him, yeah. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Did that make the cut? I don't know. Long. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did, yeah. <laughs> I think it did anyway. I didn't pick up yeah. the first time. He said it again and I picked up and agreed the second time. I said Kenny um, Rogers. Kenny Rogers. And I'm like, yes, he does look like Kenny Rogers. Stephen, or John, Stephen said that five minutes ago, son. You didn't even, it didn't even register with you. I you probably just said it without thinking, to be fair. Mad I tried. Um, no, I mean, there's little bits like that that did confuse me. And I think you kind of laugh John it was like yeah. it was like the triple R moment where I thought <laughs> like, what is going on here and I get that sometimes it's not I because I'm not yeah. in a way where you didn't make it look so yeah. you thought it was three characters you I must have been like what is he talking yeah. about <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know I and, deliberately and there was a so. moment I think it was when they were in the helicopter just before he papped SRK out the, the back of it and I, I was totally confused I'll be honest and I, I just thought I, I, I'm that dumb do I need do I need like cards yeah. Put up on this present day, you know, thirty years ago. You know, it should be obvious. He's fucking hair colour's different. You should have did that. Yeah, to be fair. I just, yeah. I just thought, oh, what's going on? You In know? your defence, Stephen, this is a movie that has a father and a son. Yeah, so it stands I was to reason there's a it, chance yeah. I could be a father and son with the VG <laughs> Sefi That would have been terrible. Well. It would have, it would have been too much. <laughs> uh, we look the exact same. Our genes are, I can understand with one person, perhaps they're strong genes and yeah. it falls through into the sun. There's not much of a mother in there, but twice, not a fucking chance, <laughs> man. No chance. But VG Sefipafi, Stephen, that's a good sort of conduit, if you'd like yeah. to go off and speak about him. Absolutely lovely guy, one of my favourite actors from India. Just multi talented, brilliant actor. He's like a fucking, not a peacock, the word I'm looking for. Chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. that's the word. Why did I say peacock? <laughs> are they the birds that have the multicoloured tails? Or have yeah, I just made that fucking that up? Them, yeah, yeah. Again, yeah, yeah. a peacock chameleon yeah. actor. He gets criticised over in India for playing the same role again and again and again. Yeah. We are bamboozled by this. We've seen this guy. I think if you saw him in this and you saw him in Master, you, 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 could, have, think, you yeah. could have an argument, John, yeah. but we've seen him in Super, Super Deluxe. Deluxe was uh, probably the most far out one. But. Vikram Veda. Uh, pizza. Yep. What? No, that was Danish. Uh, Peta. Uh, Peta with Falsely and Ginny mm. Camp. We've seen this guy portraying transvestite characters, all sorts of different things across yeah. the sort of spectrum. And he does a wonderful job of portraying these characters in a way where it's him and how he'd react. He said that himself before he takes on roles and he sort of marinades in the skin of the character. Yeah. And then he presents it in terms of his acting as to how he would feel if he had that upbringing and he was that person. He yeah. is just acting himself, but in another person's skin, you which you mentioned seems complicated, but it's the fucking same. 96 is the yeah. other one, yeah. yeah. Seems complicated, but that's really how all actors act. How yeah. I fucking think you can't be another person. You can only be you putting yourself in the shoes of that person, but he and, does it really and, and well. How did they know what to say? Because it's in the script. Yes. And how do they know where to stand? Because it's marked on the floor. That's not what he said. <laughs> but it's something similar to that. I think he's a fantastic actor. Steve. He is, John. Um, it was one of the, he can do everything. It was one of the, I, I mean, I, it's, it's easy to say, you know, we watched this because of SRK, but that wasn't the main reason probably, just because yeah. we wanted to see more of his films. But 
VJ Sefi Pafi is obviously um, one of our favourite actors as well. We've seen him in so many genres. Um, I don't know what it is. I think probably maybe he shines in his most memorable roles for the sort of mass is probably the yeah. villainous roles. And this yeah. one, it was a very slow burn villain, I thought. Yeah. It wasn't a, you know, tie the, the sort of... The, the sort of uh, damsel in distress to the rail tracks yeah. kind of villain twidd- twiddling the moustache or anything like that it was that very it's calculated it it. yeah it was because it was yeah. a door on the train at yeah. the start contacts and then we don't see until about 10 minutes later that she is in fact his daughter yeah. and then she tells him the name of the sort of kidnapper or whatever the I don't know what the fuck he was the the guy in the train whatever yeah. you call it it's not a kidnapper well it kind of is but yeah the terror the Terrorist, I don't know, whatever they were calling him. <laughs> she tells him the name and he has a look of knowing. We as the audience at that moment don't actually know what that means, what the significance of that is. And then as we go through the movie, we go back and we revisit their relationship, realise later on that it's actually not him, it's his father and it's all connected. It's actually quite clever yeah. the way they bring him in. It's almost like the opposite of Master, where the first 10, 15 minutes are dedicated to Bivani and Vijay Sefipafi. And then we bring in G Day, I think it is. Or, uh, yeah, G Day isn't J D. I can't JD. Even speak G Day. What J D? And then we go off, and then they bring him back, and they face off. So it's quite clever. They've kind of sw- that's not clever at all. It's not the same fucking director. It's low cash kind of garage doing master. I know what you mean though. And it's actually yeah. doing this, but it's almost like the yin to the yang of that. The way they have structured the villain, it's very much S R K in this movie. He, playing his father, playing the son modern and past and then we bring in the villain I just thought he was a fucking great in this movie a brilliant brilliant villain uh, the way that he develops <clears throat> throughout the years he's quite vindictive <clears throat> and petulant and hateful and violent throughout but something, he's different Stephen there was something they did though John and you you highlighted it right away you, you pounced on it right away <laughs> it was obviously the the relationship between obviously SRK's son character yeah. and uh, his dad and the, the lady yeah. Um, you know, they were had this romance, but they yeah. were obviously against each other. It was a farsi yeah, farsi, sort of thing. Yeah. VJ Sefi yeah. Pafi was in as well. He was incredible in that as well. Yeah. Um, and it's it's little things like that. That's I think one we'll see as we go down yeah. this journey, we're going to be obviously well, we started again. Holly. comparing those things. But I thought it was very similar in that sense. And I thought, <laughs> surely she, she can see that it's him, you know. But it was clever. But it was a twist she was again. grabbing the mask and then she falls off the helicopter. Yeah. And she can't see it. That was a good shot, falling. yeah. So there's some clever things happening here. To, I think they could have kept that running longer. Yeah, that farting is just outrageous. He's been out. He said two. Well, he said one walk, but he's done his business. Now there's no need for that. I'm telling you right now, he's taking the fucking piss, that dog. I digress. They could have actually, they could have stretched that out a bit longer and made that a thing. But that wasn't the purpose of this story. No. It was about Kali. It was about Vikram Ratari and Asad and his sort of relationship between these two almost like piggy in the middle if you like that's what it was about it wasn't really about the I'm fucking <coughs> forgotten name again <laughs> the Narmada character and I said I'm hoping that it's a sad by the way I really am hoping that's his name and we're not just like yeah that's his name that's the name he played was it? it was a sad yeah. thank god Christ almighty it wasn't about those two they, they were a sort of side thing in this and her character was interesting, Stephen. The way that she... I mean, she's a little bit superficial. That's the one thing I could say about it. She's very much, let's get this guy as Ad, Let's get... Or Vikram Ritari, I think she thinks it is. Want to bring him down. Then she falls in love with him. Then she hates him again. She's shooting at him. Then she's in the jail. And then the, the other six change her mind within the conversation yeah. and bring her around. Now, I understand that it's a very emotional sort of thing. His mother dies. She's set up. He's born in a jail. He's changing all these people's lives for the better. That would inspire someone. It would change your opinion on somebody. But she just seems she's a little bit all over the place, the character. But she's in fucking vital part to the story because she's yeah. big and bombastic and yeah. about the yeah. action. And the moment she's actually fighting Azad in the hospital was one of the standout scenes for me. Yeah. In terms of the, I mean, I think there was a cut in there. <laughs> I think there was definitely a cut. There was, I think there was a spider crawling up the wall yes. when we were yeah. watching and you had yeah. to... I mean, I'm shit scared of spiders. Stephen dealt with it. 
but he was away and I actually had to just rewind it and we watched right, yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was good that you did because yeah. it was a good scene, John. Because it was going yeah. on, it was great action. I had to say, you know what, pause and we'll wait until you've dealt with this and then we'll come back and <laughs> yeah. fucking watch it again. Uh, and that if was there's any stand tonight, out, we've, we're, we've had it because we're live. Had it, yeah, <laughs> because we are, oh, I've had them dangling down when yeah. I'm live, don't worry about it. Yeah, that. I remember that. Yeah. You remember that time? Um, terrifying. One, and we just couldn't do the show properly after it. Yeah. Yeah, there was a video as well yeah. where I was speaking 500 mile an hour because <laughs> one crawled across the table. Back in the days where we had a little table in front of us. We're still yeah. at a table, but not like that. And I just, that was me fucking lost <laughs> to the phobia. But yeah, Stephen, that was a great action sequence, man. And there is some fantastic action sequences in this movie. Yeah. It's very much a movie that has a purpose. It's conveying society worlds. It's telling that story with the Azad character front and centre trying to push for change, positive change, trying to enlighten the population into voting for better people who will actually care for the little man the farmers, the people you said on the at ground. One point, John, but it's I very think, much an action I movie. I think he did say he's, he's, he's actually getting the job done. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he is, yeah. You know, in a, in a unconventional way. But, yeah, I mean, in terms of... Um, we, we don't really see it too much from this region of India, uh, societal mm -hmm. um, messages and, and issues in there. It is, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's maybe just the landscape. Maybe, I don't, I, maybe somebody can correct us here. Maybe there's more farmers down south. I don't know. Um, I think it's just up north though and I don't want to presume because I'm not some beacon of fucking knowledge on Indian cinema and the different industries yeah. in India but I think we've seen before people commenting that up north they're more set in a way of making these larger than life movies that are maybe more I don't know connected with western audiences whereas Perhaps, down south they're doing, yeah. their own thing, they're doing their own thing yeah. and they are trying to, and I think even down <coughs> south I don't think it's something that's particularly specific to that's a very a word that I always think of a certain person when I say it I think you know who I'm talking yeah, about cardigan, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah particularly I don't, when I said it there I immediately thought of him it's not something specific to the actual Tamil Nadu region and yeah. filmmaking I think it's just Joseph Tarapathy Tarapathy VJ I've just determined to say his full name tonight yeah. I want to say Joseph it's just a telepathy thing yeah. I'm convinced of it he's the guy that drives these sort of societal world things he's very much passionate about enlightening people and pushing for change that's why he's moved into politics and yeah. I think he'll be yeah. fucking brilliant in politics because yeah. he's a very empathetic guy astute, he's a yeah. very astute yeah. and charismatic guy mm. so I wish him all the best in his political career sadly that means we're not going to get more movies with him yeah John, it's, it's, it's very interesting. Anyway. Obviously, I know that we're, we're taking a, a great interest in SRK's yeah. film work, and we're kind of working back the way at the moment um, from the recent stuff. Uh, Dunkey is the other one that people were yeah. saying we should perhaps watch. I'm not sure. Um, it didn't do well, did it? It didn't do well, but... Uh, I mean, the actual stuff we put out, yeah. no one watched it. Yeah, I think <laughs> we. I think it was too much a promotion. It was way that. too much, yeah. Um, Dunkey 9 and Dunkey Drop yeah, 10. Yeah, I think we missed maybe the first three or something yeah. like that. We kind of went in it before and kind of went oh, I'm not doing this because I don't know what's happening here and there's too many coming out I think it was each day they were coming out yeah. and um, yeah I mean, even now I don't know what it's about no um, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember the other actor that's in that that we've watched recently I can't remember Dunkey yeah Dunkey um, uh, but it, it, perhaps maybe it's one that we will watch but I'm very interested to know um, oh, Vicky Cashel yeah yeah Vicky yeah. Cashel yeah. yeah that's the one yeah he um, was in um, Sardar Udham and yeah. I think there was something else as well yeah. Can't remember. Yeah, Vicky Cashal. You've got to click on them, John, yeah. to find uh -huh, out. Yeah. Cause there was something else we watched, for sure. The, I know, uh, but it, it was Sam. It was that uh, trailer we yeah, watched. Sam, Sam Bahadur. Yeah. yeah, that was the sort of general. Somebody, that Surgical Strike one, is it Uri? Uh, surgical Strike, Uri, somebody yeah. re recommended as well. But yeah, um, yeah just to get back in track, John, I, I would be very keen to find out from the community, uh, other SRK, we can go back 20 years if you want. You know, we're very... Yeah, Much someone asked us to react to a movie from 1978 or something. Yeah. That's going to be impossible to get over here. There's yeah. no way. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> you need to be realistic. I mean, we went back to 93 with Tara Paffy, with Ranjini Camp. I think that's probably about as far back as we can realistically hope to go. And even then, that was thanks to Ayn Tuzan, I think it was, Yeah, uh, that we got that. And then, even then, I think, I was watching a different version to Stephen. Yeah, and, and Ruth was watching And Ruth was one. watching, I think, <laughs> yeah. the same version as me, potentially. I don't yeah. know. 
and the subtitles were getting down. It was a fucking nightmare. I think it was a nightmare. Did. It was yeah. a good movie. I think um, just they mentioned one of the comments, John, from Cool Sing, uh, yeah. says you should watch PK movie. I think that's that Amir Khan. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think so. It's based on religious beliefs in a funny way. Mm. Um, that's I'm, dangerous. I think, we were wa- I think that was one that we were... You remember when we were watching... I don't know if it was Three Idiots or something like that, but we're going yeah. down a kind of Amir Khan route and I'm pretty sure PK was one of them. Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 Um, oh, yeah, that's the Obsessed fan. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I think it is anyway. Is it? It just looks crazy. No, it's the Alien. Yeah. The alien, yeah. Yeah, 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 I remember that, yeah. I yeah. remember. It just looks, yeah, there's heavy CG going you know, on there and I remember the one with the Obsessive fan and we thought he was fucking teeny. Uh, was but that was, him? Was that? Yeah. I thought it was Sharuk. Uh, maybe right. Sharuk. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting confused here. Yeah. Even now, I'm going to search up SRK now. <laughs> I think I'm just that going was to our, completely fucking derail. I, I'm not, I, I don't want to say it was our first sort of. What was that called? <laughs> I, I can't remember. I think it was. It was I a, think you might be right. I think yeah. it was a fan. Uh, I think he was a I'm fan. I'm getting my cans can't, mixed up here. I can't remember. Disgraceful. I can't remember, obviously, the, the film, but it was probably from about 2020. Yeah, it was a while back. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, um, maybe before that. Oh, I can't remember. Um, can't remember. Was Zero, maybe? Was, was it, it that film, Zero? I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. Looking at that, no chance. It might have been a, a fan. Was it fan? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's fine. Yeah, it looked teeny. It was looked, it that one? Yeah, it yeah. was, 100%. Yeah. Because yeah. you can see he's kind of devious. Okay. <laughs> he's obsessed, but then he's kind of yeah. too obsessed. But I'm keen, I mean, that's one that maybe people can say to us, you know, whether or not it's, it's worth watching or not. Hanuman, Hanuman yeah. we've heard of that, yeah, we reacted to that. Yeah. I think we get criticised for yeah, we reaction get, we, to that. Yeah, kind of get schooled. Yeah. <laughs> We're always getting schooled on here. It's a, every day is a learning day Yeah, um, when it comes to broaching another culture uh, and country and their beliefs on, and values. We have got schooled on this, actually, uh, watch along as well oh, with, have we? with um, Sanji Dutt. Yeah, um, but yeah, I we didn't even realise it was. Yeah. was. I mean, well, that's what, fucking Sanjay Dutt. Yeah. That looks like him. It looks no, like that is Sanjay Dutt. Awesome, yeah. yeah, he's in the movie. Yeah. And what a cameo. Yeah. Probably he comes in in a moped or something, a scooter. He's got the glasses, he throws a, I think, something and blows up all the landmines. He's got quite an interesting little cameo yeah. in this movie. Didn't know he was in it. <laughs> um, but I'll take it. Um, if it's Joseph Talapathy or Sanjay Dutt, I mean, I'm happy either yeah. way. I'll take both. Sanjay's great. I hope we didn't say something like, is this the Wish version or something like that when uh, it's actually him? Oh, I, 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 I remember <laughs> we did that with uh, Panchayat, uh, with um, Vikas. Yeah, yeah you were saying there was, yeah, yeah, I kept wish. saying Wish List because yeah. I'm a fucking clown, clearly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was great to see him in there. That yeah. was a surprise. He was an interesting character. Didn't have a huge amount to do, let's be honest. He was moaning about getting home in time to go out for lunch with his wife. Never did. Um, obviously, Azad spoiled that. Yeah. But it wasn't his fault. It was Kali. It would have. He would have been home in time to have his lunch, but Kali decided, Santa Claus decided he was going to turn <coughs> up with his fucking seven foot seven giant <laughs> and try and disrupt the party. No way is that guy seven foot seven, incidentally. Someone said, no chance. Someone said in the comments he is. Fucking no chance he's seven, seven foot seven. seven. <laughs> no chance. He'll be about seven foot. I don't think there's anybody on the earth just now that's seven foot seven tall. <laughs> I know that big gonk who was the tallest <clears> man <throat> ever, eight foot or something. He didn't last long. The man uh, was huge, to be fair. He was. He, was he didn't absolutely. last long. That's terrible. He was massive. <laughs> he was fucking yeah. huge. Also, the little dwarf guy as well um, had to cut something I says. I didn't realise it was politically incorrect. To say that word mm. now, um, it's not a hugely offensive word, it's just something we used to describe someone of shorter stature. He was in there. One of the standout moments, Stephen, and I'm going to contradict myself here because one of the cringy moments for me is here as well with SRK. And I'll be open, up, on, up and honest, open, honest, and up front. That's the word I'm trying to use. <laughs> Multiple words, and I'm combining them. The scene with the little guy, the pills, he's like, Taunting, Vikram, you're gone, you're gone. Open your mouth. He puts it in the little guy's mouth and shuts it and tells him, get the fuck out. Yeah. How on yeah. at that? <laughs> that was hilarious seeing his downfall because he's a little shit kicker. <laughs> but then the acting from SRK afterwards, I did have, I think I actually, I was laughing and I cut it out because I didn't want to potentially offend anyone. Yeah. I wasn't being be dis- disrespectful. Yeah, I wasn't being disrespectful. I, I love SRK, I, I, I he's an incredible that acting, guy. Yeah. It's just a moment where. Obviously, he's got no memory, recollection yeah. of how he got into the yeah. prison and yeah. what's going on. And Khalees shouting at him, 
how did I get into the prison? His friend, one of his comrades, is in the car getting gassed and he feels helpless. So he starts shouting, ah, or something like that. And I was just like, what the fuck? All right, that okay. is not great. <laughs> That's reminding me of the wrath of Can when William Shatner shouts, Can! That was terrible for me. But it's the one moment in the whole movie where SRK just drops his level a tiny bit and the main playing multiple versions of himself of characters and he's very 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 good so yeah it's a minor criticism there is some other criticisms in there Stephen. i'm going to be upfront and honest because that's what i like here yeah don't want to take over the entire fucking review i'll obviously oh, you have a say a little bit campy at times the acting was a little bit campy uh, and i don't mean campy as in you know, hey uh it's like a sort of effeminate person or perhaps someone from essex who's really into clothes and whatnot and they're kicking about that's not the kind of campy i'm talking about it's not dave davies in the the swinging 60s going about buying fucking polka dot leotards it's campy in the sense that it's a little bit over egged it's like jim carrey from the 90s it's a little bit over the top at times <laughs> that's fine it's not really a problem yeah. as such because it's the it's the sort of vision for the film that was a, de a deliberate stylistic choice by atley to make this movie like that. Most people are kind of acting in that manner, but I did notice it and I'm going to, because I'm honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't issues. really, and that's kind we of, can genre, disagree, I, and that's kind, no, and that's kind of um, genre, I, I don't, I, I know what you're saying, John, I, I understand that as well. It doesn't ruin the experience for me in any way. I mean, fucking like Schwarzenegger was doing this uh, 30 years ago. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Schwarzenegger, Van Damme, they were Stick all Stick around. It. You know, and it just, He's dead tired, you know. You called like out. They, they had an opportunity with eggs, and they didn't use it. There could have been a catch yeah, or something yeah, in there. I, but that's the kind he of scene they were, yeah, that they were going for. You, know? you should have done you know? that. And I been. think um, it's just one of those things where uh, Hot Fuzz was good at doing that. Yeah. Uh, you should have said that. Yeah. Um, you know, and because they pick, picked up on that Simon Pegg and, and Nick Frost. Yeah. You, know, you know, it's a classic thing with action films, particularly in the West where they do have some cheesy lines or cheesy yeah. moments. And I, I don't really I don't really mind it, to be honest with you. It doesn't really ruin the experience for no. me because if you're conditioned and you're brought up and that kind of stuff, it, you kind of just take it as it is. It, it, it really just depends on how they're trying to project the film. Yeah. Are, they, are they doing it as a serious piece? Are they doing it a little bit campy? Are they doing it a little bit more comedic? Yeah. And, it's, and you've got to be careful that like you don't go too far one yeah. way and that's the thing I, I think you get a balance the, just about right yeah a couple of times I'd, I noticed John there was a couple of cheesy moments but I just yeah. kind of just washed over me I went okay I'll not, I'll not downgrade my rating for it no. for just that you know it's just no. it's a niggle more than anything and it was just but I think on the, the whole I think they got the tone just right because it is I mean this could have went a comedic way John you talked about the trailer and it, it was so different to Patan in that sense you know I was like all right, so it's a kind of action comedy we're getting here, like yeah. Tango and Cash type thing or something, yeah. I don't know. Um, but once you saw the film, it was nothing like that at all. Um, no. Because I think they did, on the whole, get the, the comedy just right in this. The pill bit with the, the dwarf That's was, was yeah. just, I didn't expect it, you yeah. know, more than anything. But it was such a, a good scene and it was made and designed There's for co moment. comedic relief. With more than anything. With Kelly as well. Yeah. But he's saying, don't you hurt. Yeah. And I think he, Point her head butts, Kali, and he says to him, Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> and it was just the way he yeah. portrayed it. PG said for Baffy, it was fucking brilliant. <laughs> I just love that guy, honestly. I just, I'll sit here and I'll just merc over that guy. Yeah. That's a sort of wrestling term, I think. I don't know why I used that, but I did. I'll sort of like merc over him. There's another I've not heard term. that word since 2002. <laughs> There's another term that they use in streaming <laughs> circles. Uh, I can't remember it because I don't do it. It's more like little losers who do it with sort of girls and whatnot who are streaming throw money at them all right no okay. hero worship i'll hero worship vj sefi yeah. Baffy, no problem absolutely love the guy he thinks a fantastic actor and his villainous turn really does make this movie yeah really interesting because he's quite steven he's an evil bastard let's, let's be honest he kills the dog <laughs> <laughs> he kills the dog yeah he fucking throws him off a plane and shoots at him as he's fallen and then not content with that he goes and destroys his pregnant wife's sort of life as well i mean 
tells his men, don't underestimate her. But this Goes is all revealed in the second, this is in the second half yeah. of the film, John. I th- that's what I'm saying. I think the villain in this was very slow burn. But he's very, we knew very, he was a villain, but it's just how, how low will this guy go? But he's charismatic yeah. in portraying yeah. his villainous sort of turn. So even when he's taunting her and saying, you know what happens when you get hung? They put a noose over a sort of thing over your head, put the noose around your neck, you fall and you snap your neck, then your eyes pop out and then your tongue comes out. Okay. Even when you're seeing that and it's horrific because she's clearly going to be experiencing that yeah. in the near to medium or long term future. It's still fucking hilarious when he's sticking his tongue out and taunting her and the guy behind is continuing to do it and he's like, hey, right, that's enough, come on. We're going now. Yeah. It's just, it's a brilliant villainous turn from BJ Sefapafi and I'm delighted to see him. Not that he has to prove himself to the whole of India and go up and do North Indian movies. I think he's dabbled with Northern yeah. Indian stuff before, but I'm glad that this guy's getting a wider audience because he really is a fantastic actor. Yeah. I know Shah Rukh has spoke about him yeah. and praised him yeah. before and he was really honoured by it. Yeah, I mean, he would back. be. Yeah, he certainly but the fact be. that he was actually speaking about yeah. him and he saying he was a is, great yeah. actor. Yeah. So I'm glad to see he's getting a platform now. I think, he really um, does deserve I, think it. I said during the watch along as well, we think uh, um, VG Sefipafi's career, you know, the, the people he's worked with. Yeah, um, incredible. It's incredible, John, in terms of Vikram Veda, um, who's obviously... Madhavan, yeah. Madhavan and uh, Rajinikanth yeah. and, and Peta. And obviously Joseph VJ as well. Super um, Docs. Who was in Super Docs again? Um, yeah. I think he, he's done a lot of little minor roles. I think he yeah. did a few in some Dan- in Danush Docs. films as well, didn't he? Yeah. Where he, he was he was one of the background villains and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so, that may have been. Um, yeah, I know what one you're talking about. Yeah, it's Veda the one. Chennai. It's the one John that Veda Chennai. Veda Chennai. Um, was one of them. There was one where you were convinced we didn't see, and then we, we yeah. started watch. Uh, started watching the trailer. And we we read this, uh, and you still yeah. couldn't pinpoint it. <laughs> oh. And I went, no, we, we have done it. Yeah, yeah, um, I remember that. And yeah, I think he was in one of them as well. Yeah. It was, but I think he was just a background villain, yeah. one of the bullies or something yeah, like he was that. Very but young at he's in yeah. and around all these other incredible actors as well, and um, it's not as you say, he needs validation or anything like that. He's, he's worked his way up, and he's he's crafted you know his his career his own way yeah um and i just think um from what we've seen so far obviously the introduction was in master i thought oh, well this is good and um, because i think up to that point we were getting those sort of 2d villains the ones that yeah. they're not really get great acting capabilities they're just like a presence yeah f- for the sake of the story and they don't really delve too much into their past and the fact that they, what they did in master with uh, VG Sefipath, his character yeah. was the sort of introduction to the film, his backstory, and I thought this is interesting. He was a, and, a, and a kid to, who came out of that yeah. juvenile sort of detention centre. And you need a good actor yeah. to do that, John. You need that yeah. sort of turn. You need to see that turn. You need in the a character. desire from the director and the actual screenwriter to make yeah. that happen, to give you that character. Because if you've not got that desire, you're just going to get a poor film. You need it all to come together. I think when and obviously I think the, cinema, yeah. modern cinema, is necessitating complicated villains now people are not going to have cardboard sort of and I think perhaps maybe villains. his performance in the likes of Master this is when he's been kept in mind for this film Yeah, it's like well this is the kind of actor we need for this this role he's someone that can play this villainous role but doing a as you said a charismatic if that's possible way slow burn not a caricature of a, a villain in a film um, someone that's convincing someone that could be realistic you know the way that he portrays it and that's the kind of actor that would come to my mind right away when I was writing this film if I was writing this film if I'd already seen the likes of Master yeah so I think that's probably had a large part to play in him getting this role not scared to get in about the action as well Steve no, no, at the no. end, of, end fight he's in there giving it I mean he's getting battered and bruised let's be honest but he still gets in about it don't know if he's actually doing the I'm hoping to see VJ Sefipafi and the Family Man at some point. Yeah, that would be, yeah, you know, yeah, the character yeah. crossing over. Yeah, I think I don't that's know. coming. I hope so. Sure. I yeah. hope so. Yeah, that'd be brilliant seeing him with my Family Man. was excellent, you. John, but the Family Man's on another level. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And obviously, the <clears throat> smoke for Shahid Kapoor's character, he's turned evil. Yeah. yeah. Can't really, he can't make the jump into the Family Man. It has to be Unless the he's law the enforcement. Villain. Yeah, <laughs> it has to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It has to be the, the police, yeah. sort of, and the investigative stuff. And that's where you do have, obviously, the VGCF of character coming in, potentially and teaming up with Manos Bashbae. Yeah. Uh, Vikrant, what's his name? Vikrant, fucking hell, Tewari. Have I said that right? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. 
What the fuck's his name? Yeah, I think I'll it's come... been two years since we watched it, John. Tewari, is it? Oh my God. I remember fucking JK or something. Talpadi. I don't remember. Shri- remember Shrikant, the... Shrikant, Shrikant Tewari. Yeah. Fucking Bikrant. I was going to say, Coy. do you remember the, the wife's <laughs> name? Her name was shortened, wasn't it? Eh, I can't. No. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Shri can't to worry though. It's all about Manos. All about <laughs> yes, what, yeah. an what a guy. What a guy. Watched yeah. a two-hour interview with him. Fucking speaks English better than I do. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. But I digress, Stephen. So many great moments in this movie. And I think, as we alluded to prior, uh, the, the most important thing is the thematics. Showing all of the ills and some really sad, sombre moments. What I will say is the way that they maybe bring them in is not the best the sort of stuff with the hospital, a bit throw away with the little kids. It's just a little, this is the backstory of this character. It, for me, it lacked a little bit of emotional impact. Same with the farmer, uh, the situation yeah. with him. I mean, it's shocking. He's that been beaten, he's been bullied. I he think away, well he takes his life. It's a sad moment. You've got he, to remember, we went into it. this in the back of 12 Fail as well, yeah. which was a highly emotional charged film. You're not going to top that in a, this no. type of film, and uh, no, I thought I thought they got the message across, but yeah. I was I was a bit like you, John. I, I wasn't. I'm going to sound really cold and say this, but I what? wasn't. I wasn't as affected. No. I was saddened. I was like, that's 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 terrible. You know what they've done, and I, it was, it was not tragic. Been with the character, yeah, yeah it's not long it's, enough. Yeah, introduced and then bang. Yeah, he does. But something. It's, it's just that it was a story that had to be told yeah. to give reason to why they're. Yeah. Obviously, their actions. I mean, they're, they're, you've got two hours and 45 minutes to tell a story about a father and a sort of adversary, and then the son, and it's multiple timelines. Yeah. And you've got other characters in there, and you have to give depth to those characters by utilizing quick flashbacks. And I think, in the main, Atlee, he got the balance right, so I'm not going to yeah. stick a boot into him for it, but it didn't quite have the emotional punch that something like 12 Fail had yeah. where you're spending but it wasn't real time to, with the yeah, characters yeah. Uh, but um, other things with what about technical stuff I thought technically it was very impressive it was very slick John very the, very the fight impressive fight sequences were fantastic especially yeah. in a train I'm always impressed when they do that sort of compressed Jeez. you know sort of scenes they yeah. do you know very um, in your face and, and they managed to do it in a convincing way f- and as frenetic as possible so a thought, car chase with the trucks as well yeah, they're on the rooftop yeah. and people are getting flung about obviously SRK the V Grant um, character is on the bike yeah. some really impressive That's stuff good, with yeah. the Molotov sort of cocktails yeah. and whatnot. some really impressive stuff visually in this movie really like the score I like the soundtrack yeah. I like that that was good yeah I liked that really catchy I Memorable. was listening that when I was editing, uh, just the way they utilised that was very, very impressive. So on a technical level, I think they done a very, very good job, uh, Stephen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> trying to think of other action sequences in here. Obviously the stuff with the helicopter, kind of touched upon that briefly. Loved that moment he jumps and she sort of grabs on. That was a moment for me in terms of action sequences, John. It was yeah. just... It was like the sort of flip side of June part two, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that moment. Um, but I thought it was well timed because I thought, is this going to be a reveal here? And yeah. obviously it wasn't. It was just, it was great the way they did that, the way they shot that. Um, but I think it, in terms of other sequences, there were so many. Little rat, you know? the speckled guy. We called him out right away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right through him. Yeah, knew he was for the watch. Show nineties, yeah. we called him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that will go over the heads of most people in India. But it's a little specky guy. Yeah. I can say that because I'm a specky guy as well at times, not all the time, when required, which is thankfully not often. But yeah. I can still say I'm a specky guy, so I can get away with calling him a little tra- treacherous, traitorous. That word. I don't know, specky guy. Yeah, that moment where he kind of like. We'll slap them about, we'll take the daughter, we'll do this. Yeah. Again, some brilliant humour, Stephen, in that moment where V. Grant goes to the little daughter. She's like, Papa! And he's like, he shuts the door and says to his comrades, his friends, fucking hell, have I got another one? <laughs> and they're all laughing. I was genuinely yeah. hailing at that. There's some really good that is, moments very of comedy subtle, in there. Yeah, subtle comedy, John. Yeah. I was going to say something about, um, in, in terms of technical, that this, the still, um, something that I'm always impressed with with Indian cinema is they still hold traditional values with some other techniques with the zoom shots into the face yeah um which I always loved uh, in Asian films and also um the sort of wind machine 
to blow the hair. I, I love that. that. I do. That. I do like yeah. that though, John, because it's very traditional. And you it's said something. they were getting their money's worth. Yeah, the was fans. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was the actual dance sequences yeah. which we had to cut out. I was going to mention that as yeah. well. The, the dance. Some of the dances are fucking unreal. Though it's, there was a it's moment. The costumes, John. Yeah, the costumes. Just the scale. Are... I think the first one where they're all dancing, the inmates and whatnot, just the scale mm. of the set design, the amount of people dancing, the yeah. music was very catchy. It's just a shame we couldn't put it in because it just would get copyright claim yeah. immediately. would not get it out. But some of the dance sequences in this are fucking unreal. The peak of Padacone, can you say, other than Anvir Singh, you lucky, lucky bastard. <laughs> it's ridiculously good looking. We actually made a comment. I can't really... No, no, I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, you're kind of going for her to, yeah, to the norm, yeah. miles, miles yeah. above anybody it's in like, the movie. It's like most people that are, are blessed that fair, way. To be fair to Naya and Tara, she's not bad looking as well. By the way, she's 30 fucking nine or something. Yeah. She's doing well for She was very good in this film, But the peak is... Uh, yeah. I level. think it's because I think the fans had to pick up Adagoni as well. Her moments in the movie as well, Stephen. That little yeah. scene in the jail, uh, the time she spent... With obviously Azad bringing them up, that was quite a really that was a really good moment. Again, yeah. backdrop of a music number. Yeah, five years of sort of condensed storytelling. Yeah, that was quite clever. It showed you how he got the values that he has in the present day. So yeah, you can see techniques. moments of his mother and him, and yeah. obviously his father and looks. Um, but I think, I think in terms of uh, performances, I think that's yeah. what we should probably talk about next. Is it's <laughs> very obvious, isn't it? You know, it's it's, it's, okay. it's a very hard thing to do, other than without demoting everybody else's performances because I think in terms of a film like 12 Fail I think it was very close in terms of performances because yeah. it, it was a very strong cast this is a strong cast as well John and it is a Shah Khan show because it's a Shah Khan film yeah. it's all about him and his characters um, yeah. but when you've got the likes of um, the Pika Patagonia and the uh, Fiji Sefi Pafi Sanya Dara, Dara, yeah. as, as much as it was even um, the, the sort of lesser characters like Sanya Malhotra's character Iram as you just said that she's a doctor the lesser characters yeah. they were lesser characters and I don't mean that in a negative way but she had brilliant acting when yeah. the kids are dying she's powerless you yeah. see the effects of the state not giving her yep. stuff because there's a lot of bribery and corruption and red tape you have to get through to get access to something as basic as oxygen canisters yeah. to save little kids lives yeah Brilliant sequence before, was, she's yeah. really emotional. So there's some brilliant acting across the board in this yeah. movie from the lesser characters. And it's a strong cast. It is. A, yeah. And it's not overcrowded. Um, but Sharuk Khan, it's his all. film. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, he's carrying it. He's carrying two characters. And he, he, he does it in a way that it doesn't seem like... Do you know how you... I don't know if you remember, John, there was a deep... Um, was it? I can't remember what it's called, Sudden Impact, I think Sudden it's called. Impact. It was a Van Damme film where he played twins and it's just awful. It can be really done really badly. <laughs> and it's uh, to an extent, Phoebe and Ursula Buffet uh, is just really bad. Van Damme, I knew. It, it can, be, it, it can be done really badly, but that's the he's difference in an actor, actor, is he? No, he's not. He's, no, a, he's, not a, he's an action guy. Fucking dancer. And that's the difference <laughs> with Sharik Khan. Sharik Khan is an actor, a proper actor. Yeah, and you saw that in this. You saw the iterations of these two characters, and yeah. and obviously versions of the characters within the character. But I just thought he carried it well, and he did he did it in a most believable way. I know we know we know it's the same guy. Yeah. Oh look, Shadow oh, Khan's no, got a twin. I, I you tell know? you though, um, Stephen, it's done in a way. The visuals, the sort of prosthetics, the hair, the aging, even getting back to the flashback of him when it's a younger Vikram, and he's fighting in that pit that was a brilliant scene loved that as well yeah. loved the vibe of that just the rain coming down you see the charisma <clears throat> of this guy he's like I put his hand up I'll take him on yeah. and he's like playing with him and then he just slams him and then obviously the Pika she comes in the character I don't know the mother's name just brilliant interaction you see him he's kind of having a feel he's fucking blissful and then she just like takes him out just those moments it's done yeah. it's handled really well on a is, visual yeah. level they feel like distinct different people but the older version feels like yep. a different person to the younger yeah. Bikram and Asad feels like a totally different person we've seen that with Prabhas and Bahu Bali put on muscle in different places to make the characters different look different body language speech yeah. pattern everything just different, different. Yeah. I mean he's gruffy he's almost like Harrison Ford the older Bikram yeah. and Asad's got a totally different sort of vocal and everything yeah. the way he enunciates yeah. words is completely different so it was a really physical and probably hard acting job we had I think so portraying yeah. these multiple versions of characters I've only ever outside of Indian cinema seen that with Eddie Murphy and yeah. never usually 
has done well outside yeah, of yeah, even coming Eddie to America. Murphy, Eddie Murphy's Eddie Murphy, isn't it? Yeah. Still, that's Eddie Murphy. Him and Sir Hall. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. that's the only time I've ever seen it dabbled. And they've done it really well. But in the main, they did it really fucking bad as well. In other movies, not Orsino. I'm going to take him out. Yeah. Eddie. Yeah. Orsino done it really well. Eddie, not so well <laughs> afterwards. So my brushes with that kind of thing have been quite poor. But in the yeah. main, in Indian cinema, it's been done really well. And I think Shah Rukh done a fucking phenomenal job of uh, Even that bald portraying. cap was incredible. Yeah. I, just, yeah. I, I don't know if there was maybe some CG involved in that or not, because well, it was that really, really Austin good. Austin Butler, didn't we? Yeah. In June part two. Yeah. That was a bold gap. And it was just the uh, Shimanto says, uh, you should react on Rutik Roshan more. Yeah. You guys are doing great, by the way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Rutik, yeah. Yeah, as I yeah. used to call him horrific. Yeah. As uh, I just wasn't grasping that Rutik, I mean, it's yeah. clearly, it's fucking there, Rutik. Yeah, I mean... I'm 2% Indian, incidentally. I might not look it, but I have my great-great-grandmother's from India. <laughs> and I can't even pronounce the fucking words. But I can eat spicy food, so I, I got think, that from her. I think, John, I, so I, I think I went down the sort of route of remembering a, a Bulgarian footballer called Haristo Stoichkov. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how can you forget Haristo, Haristo. Haristo. Stoichkov? Yeah. So um, it's just yeah. that I went, is it maybe her, her, heretic? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm probably butchering it as well, but... I think it is heretic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've seen, we've seen quite a few these trailers as well, John. Have um, you seen any of these movies, heretic? I don't think so. Don't think we have. I think we did we not? Um, no, we haven't. Because the one we were going to watch, which we didn't, we watched this instead. Was um, the jet one? Yeah, fighter. Yeah, yeah, fighter. Yeah, yeah. We we're going to watch that. that yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that looked decent. That I mean, Steve Nah, won't wait. Matter. I can love um, blanking the name out. Top Gun. I, I love it, but I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it that much. Oh, I'm going go. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick was my favourite yeah. movie of what, two years ago when it came out. So I like those kind of movies and yeah. it's kind of get Top Gun vibes. I'm sure someone will come in and say, ah, it's nothing like Top Gun. What are you talking about? Right, Top John, Gun copied that. You thought it was boxing when it first yeah, came out. Yeah, so nobody commented on that. Yeah, because so. it was fighter. Yeah. And I'm talking about Sapata Parambarai and things like that. Yeah. Fucking nothing to do with that. It's a fighter. <laughs> there was a film Jet called Bad Fighter. Fighter, wasn't there, with fighter, obviously fighter. Christian Bale and... Was it Matt Damon? The Fighter, yeah. No, it was um, Bale and... Oh God, who was it again? Can't remember. Oh my God. Can't remember. Was it Jake Gyllenhaal? No, no he did another no, he boxing did, no, he did I, can't, so I can't remember. I can't um, remember. The Fighter. I want to say that it's, uh, before I click on this, I'm almost, Tom Hardy? No, it's Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Uh, I hate it when I get things wrong, as you can tell. Tom Hardy was in the one with, Oh God, the brother one. Loved that as well. Octagon fighter. <laughs> Fucking loved it. What a movie, by the way. Tom Hardy, we're going off and tangents galore. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I can't help myself. Uh, the Warrior. The Warrior, yeah. Um, he was in that with, film, yeah. with Joe Egerton. Yeah. Fucking brilliant movie. Incredible. Yeah. But yeah, I digress. I uh, don't know how we got onto that. Fighter. Fighter, Riddick yeah. Roshan. Yeah, performance, Stephen. SRK is a standout performer, as yeah. you'd expect, but he's backed with a brilliant ensemble performance. And as I did say, Kali, VJ Sefapafi, one of my favourite actors from India. Brilliant villainous turn in this movie. Really does give that nice edge of sort of the yin to the yang, if you'd like. A little bit of darkness in there yeah. that's required. And he does it with humour at times as well. So that's always nice. Uh, don't know if I've got anything else to say about this movie no, at this point. Um, structurally, it, yeah. it was pretty decent. Yeah. Thematically, it was pretty decent the way they presented this. We've seen this done with telepathy movies. Thought the acting in the main was pretty good, technically. But well, I digress, we're getting to sort of surmise and then give a rating. I don't even know what I'm rating this, even. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first then, John. Yeah. Um, in terms of enjoyment, I, I did get a lot of enjoyment out of this film. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be, uh, although it did suggest perhaps maybe some comedic levels in there in the trailers. But overall, I knew it was going to be an action slash thriller. And that's what we got. And I think the performances were very strong, uh, mostly. Uh, a couple of cheesy lines, uh, cheesy moments, which I don't mind because you kind of get that in these films anyway. Um, so that would be nitpicking, I think, in terms of structure. A little bit, I don't want to say over the place because that that's kind of highlighting that I'm probably a bit of a simpleton. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most people probably did get it, but there was just little bit moments where I don't. I think if you 
if you blink and you miss it, you kind of go, whoa, whoa, whoa what, what's happening uh, here? Come on, guys. To be fair, that cold, <laughs> I did see yeah. you when I was, you know, I think I said a flashback yeah. and a flashback. Yeah, and I, yeah. once you said that, I settled down. I was, I was fine again. <laughs> I didn't need my jags. But uh, uh, overall, you know, I think just in terms of that, it was just a little oh. bit maybe misplaced sort of cuts. And yeah. I think, oh, okay, he's pointing up to the sky and then we're in oh, the helicopter. Oh, Steve, the fucking yeah. cow. Yeah. The cow, the best cameo in the yeah. whole movie. Uh, when that guy's doing his speech, shoot me. Yeah, if, you th- was... if I'm not telling the truth, then if you don't think I'm telling the truth, then shoot me and I'll prove it to you. Shoot me here. Uh, the, the cut to the cow, the billboard, that was just yeah. Was brilliant. that deliberate, do you think? I think it was. Yeah, it was really brilliant. good, wasn't it? Don't know it? about the cow. Uh, I think it was. I think it was deliberate. <laughs> it was great. Fucking yeah. brilliant. But uh, in general, I, I really enjoyed this film. I, I did, you know, and it was everything I expected it to be. It's a second SRK film. Not been disappointed so far from what we've seen. Are they fantastic films? Not amazing films uh, by any means, but still enjoyable. Um, and I, I wasn't disappointed with this. It's probably a, maybe a 7.2 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I now have to check something here because it's quite, it's pertinent. It's kind of pertinent to what I'm going to rate this because I think this is better than Patan and I don't know what I rated Patan. You're not comparing them, no, John. No, I'm not comparing sense. them, no, but yeah. I do uh, think uh, it's if a you better high, movie. If you rated this high, it doesn't mean you think yeah. Patan's yeah. uh, a, a, a worse film. Stephen, I liked it. Uh, yeah. I like flashbacks. I like multiple characters being performed, certainly from Indian cinema. Um, it's done very well, usually, and it's done tastefully. And it's never just for the sake of it. It really, that they utilise it to pack a bunch and the father-son relationship, the, the, the mother being lost, him feeling like he's an orphan, he's got nothing to live for, he's wanting to, not nothing to live for, but he's, he feels like he has to go out and, and spread the word of his mother, if you like, the word of God, the word of the gospel, and his mother in this case says to him, help these people. When he reconnects with his father, that's a powerful moment, so I feel like that sort of double character from SRK was quite pertinent to move, quite powerful. I liked the way they utilised the flashbacks. It gave Seth Apathy's villain a chance to flex his muscles and show what he's about because in modern times he's a fucking older guy. He's yeah, using yeah. sort of other people to do his work for him but in the flashbacks he's very much hands on Yeah, and shooting them and kicking them out of the plane and whatnot. Get out of my world I think he says. So I liked the way they utilised that. I thought the acting from SRK was a standout. Just incredible from him. Again, that's two movies. I think he was better in this than he was in Patan. He had more to do in this. I think he was push more. I'm not saying it's anywhere near his best work because we've not seen his best work, I'm sure. He's got a fucking 30 odd years or something of acting behind yeah. him. So I'm not going to be stupid enough to say that, <clears> but it's <throat> certainly the best I've seen from him. So for that alone, I've got to rate it higher than Patan. I don't know what I rated Patan, but for me, I'm going to give it a seven point. Fuck it, 7.5 out of 10 for me. I think, I thought it was a good movie. I yeah. liked it. I liked the message it presented. I liked the way they framed the action. There was a right sprinkling of comedy in there. There was a couple of little things in there. It's not a perfect movie by any means, but for me, 7.5. I think that's fair. Very decent, yeah. Yep. One bite. You know the rules. Everyone knows the rules. That's, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> Banking his name now. Terrible. Barstool Sports. Do you remember I used to have a graphic for how we did, rated it? Yeah, yeah. What was I thinking? Um, I mean, it worked, but it was a f- unbelievable pain in the ass, man. You're having to scroll through things, and I was further back than I am now, and I'm like, is that, is that the C+, plus or is that the A? <laughs> like a fucking 90-year-old guy at 30. What am I doing here? Clown. But I digress, man. That's going to round up your thoughts on Joanne. What was your thoughts on Joanne? What was your thoughts on the standout performer? SRK... Maybe you thought it was Sanjay Dutt. I don't know. Share your thoughts down below about anything relating to this movie, what you liked, what you hated, what you'd rate it, thoughts in our review on our reaction, anything you feel maybe recommendations for future reactions, anything you feel compelled to share, you can put down below in the comment section. Thank you to the people who've already commented. There's been a couple. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. What's left to be said? Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. Do the same thing over on Twitch. Notifications button. Fall button over there. Like and follow us on Spotify podcast as well. I'm sure we'll be doing live streams at some point. This is a live stream, but it's not going on Spotify. I don't think that's more for the shows. Did I say like the video? You did. I think yeah. I did, yeah. I'm losing the fucking pot here. I'm with Joe Biden. All that's left to be said until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Joe Biden. <laughs>